Welcome to the Truth of the Matter show coming to you from Biafra Television, London. Um, we have come today to tell the United Nations, um, African Union, ECOWAS, um, European Union, and the general public that the people of Biafra successfully boycotted Anambra election on 18th of November 2017. The people of Biafra boycotted the election to prove to the world that we, the indigenous people of Biafra, are no longer interested in Nigerian politics. And that we, the people of Biafra, really want our freedom not to be part of Nigeria anymore. This is the reason why we boycotted the election. So as it is, we are going to move on to look at what happened or the outcome of the election in Anambra State on 18th of November 2017. Uh, Mr. Kalagu, yeah, welcome to the program. Thank you so much, Mr. Yes, Martin. thank you very much, Mr. Kalagu, for being with me. So this is the issue the people of Biafra succeeded in boycotting Anambra election. So um, how do you view what happened that very day, the, 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 the low turnout and the, the result coming from the Nigerian government and the, the ANEC? So how do you view the, the, the outcome of the election? Before I proceed, I would like to use this opportunity to congratulate the people of Biafra all over the world, especially those who are, who are in Biafra land, and in particular, the Biafrans of Anambra State. Well done, my people. May Tuko Kikabiyama continue to bless us. May Tuko Kikabiyama continue to give us his grace. May Tuko Kikabiyama continue to grant our hard desires until we enter our blessed land of Biafra. You have shown the world, you have proved to the world that power really belongs to the people. Like when I was in the secondary school, they told us that democracy started in the small Greek city-states. That is how democracy developed. So today, the people of Biafra has proved to the world that we are part of this system and we have shown that power really belongs to the people. I thank you, the people of Biafra. Now, going into the issue at hand, the successful boycott of the election conducted by the Nigerian moderate states in Anambra State in Biafra land. Before the 18th of November 2017, the day that the election was conducted, although it is fraudulent, the people of Biafra campaigned vigorously, telling our people the reason why we should boycott the election. Those reasons were as follows. One, Nigeria is fraudulent and was fraudulently concocted in 1914 without any consent from our forefathers. Two, the constitution that is in place in Nigeria as we speak now is fraudulent. That constitution was made by one single man, Abdul Salami Abubakar, a Fulani man. And he made that constitution in order to favor his people, whereby Sharia law was conspicuously provided for in that constitution. And they also quota system as an administrative policy was also introduced in that constitution. This quota system is a system whereby my son from Abia State is required to score 139 points in an exam to enter into Nigeria Unity School, whereas someone, Omaru or Buhari, who is from uh, Castina, is expected to score only four. What an enslavement of a people. So, because of these issues, that is why the people of Biafra say, no, we don't want to be part of this fraud. That fraudulent constitution that was, uh, that was, uh, uh, that was uh, given to the Nigerian people by one man was also fraudulently written on his preamble that we, the people, whereas there was no time where the 
indigenous people that own the land came together to say we want to be Nigerian and therefore we promulgate this constitution for ourselves. So that is the reason why Nigerian constitution is the only document in the whole world that lies against itself. So because of these reasons, the indigenous people of Biafra decided to boycott that election to tell the world that we have rejected Nigeria. We have rejected the constitution. We have rejected the, the political system in Nigeria because it is a political system that we are made to enslave our people. So our people, we decided to boycott the election and successfully we achieved a total of more than 90% boycott of that election. And it is a very great achievement. Kudos to our great leader, Mazen Namde Khan. Kudos to our deputy leader, Mazen Chemefo. Kudos to all our national coordinators all over the world. The indigenous people of Biafra has proved to the world that no matter the oppression, no matter the incarceration, no matter the massacre, the genocidal OG of massacre going on against our people, we still stand resolute and boycotted the election. Mr. Moderator, I still give my kudos to our people, the indigenous people of Biafra. Thank you very much, Mr. Kalawi. Yes, the people of Biafra did well. And the people of Biafra successfully boycotted the election on 18th of November 2017 in a number of states. Kala will put it clear to everyone that the reason why we boycotted the election is to prove that we are no longer interested in Nigeria political system and many other issues. So um, we thank our people, the people of Biafra, for the effort they made on 18th in Anambra State. Um, Willie Obiano, the governor of Anambra State, as they call him as the winner, they declared him as the winner of the, of the election. And Mr. Kalawu, based on low opponent of our people, because our people, as he said it here, our people boycotted the election 95%. In 2015, during the general election whereby 36 states in Nigeria participated in that election, they declared the winner the same day. That so, how do you view the activities and what led to declare the winner the following day? And look at the low turnout of our people. Yet, instead of cancelling the election, they, they had to shift it to the following day and declare the winner. And how do you view this issue? Well, I view it as a success for the indigenous people of Biafra because this goes to betray the fact that the indigenous people has been saying that Nigeria is fraud, that yes. everything about Nigeria is fraudulent. Yes. So we have now pushed the zoo Nigeria to exposing themselves to the world on that fraudulent composition of whatever system they want to introduce. What I'm saying in effect is this. Anambra state, we have, uh, it is estimated to have a population of more than 6 million people. And from the INEC register before the conduct of this election, it is known that more than 2 million, about 2, two, ab two million, 680,000 two, two uh, people of Anambra origin we are registered. Yes. as the registered voters. Yes. Okay, now, from their own exit vote, they are telling you that the number of people that voted totally in that election is about, about 300,000, yeah, according 300, to them. Yes, approximately 400,000. Okay, approximately 400,000. Mm. Okay, now, approximately 400,000 voted according to their fraudulent yes, uh, 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 calculation. Yes. Okay, now, will you hope you know that they have declared the winner? Mm. If you calculate it, you see that they said that he got about 190,000 votes. Yes. So now, any reasonable person will look into this because democracy is all about number mm. and the majority. Mm. Okay, now, let us assume that 6% of 
the registered vote, six uh, percent of Anambra people voted okay. for Obiano. Yes, they voted, mm -hmm. and the nine uh, one hundred and ninety something thousand we are the only number that voted for him out of six million. Mm -hmm. That is to tell you that there out is a two million. Out, no, out of six million, the total population okay, of yeah. Anambra okay, State. Okay, okay, because yeah. as he has been declared the winner, mm -hmm. it means he will govern the whole population of Anambra yes. State. So how do you reconcile a situation whereby 197,000 people voted for a governor that will govern About six million, million people? So when you look at it, the ratio is very, very minimal. Yes, and yes. you now have a constitutional legitimacy crisis in Nigeria. That is exactly what it should be. Because constitutionally, in, in systems of voting, we have what we call absolute majority system of voting. That means for a candidate to assume such a position as a governor you must have scored 50 plus yes in order to be to able serve the mandate yes of the yes to serve the mandate of the people that is to say that the population has voted you into power but as it stands the number of people that they have said that voted is not up to the uh, standard that is required in a democratic setting so the international community, the human rights community, the United Nations, the African Union, and the people of goodwill all over the world should impress upon the Nigerian government and the United Nations as well to look into this issue and conduct a referendum for the indigenous people of Biafra. Because the boycott of this election is to speak in one voice to tell the world that we are no more part of Nigeria. We have rejected Nigeria. We have rejected her constitution. We have rejected every political activities conducted by the Nigerian government in our land of Biafra. Thank you very much, Mr. Kalagu. Based on your analysis, then it seems that why they extended the, um, the result of the election because they did not declared the winner the same day. Yeah. They declared the winner on 19th, trying to change the real result. You know, they just embarked on a fraudulent list of Yes. To declare um, Ubiano as the winner. Yes. So, um, why, why other party leaders did not challenge this fraudulent result? As I have told you before, and as our audience, our, our listeners out there are listening to us, they must understand that Nigeria is fraud and the delay that you witness in declaring the result. Tarabu, Tarabu, we have, sorry, does it mean that uh, there was a consensus that, that every other party that is, leaders who accepted that is what the I'm, result, no that matter is, how it that is? That is what I'm trying to tell you. From the, uh, the Victoria and the video evidence that, that is available, yes. we could see that nobody participated in the election. Of course. In general, in general calculation of what transpired on that election day, from the video evidence and the Victoria evidence, you could deduce that the, the people that that were induced with money mm. and the those who are the family members of those uh, uh, candidates yes. are not up to 10,000 in yes. total that yes. voted yes. on that day. Yes. But you see and that the Nigerian, agents. yes, because the Nigerian government, they want to discredit the indigenous people of Biafra that has issued the order for a boycott of election. And this order that was issued by the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra was adhered to 100%. Yes. So the Nigerian a moderate establishment they wanted to divert the attention of the people by calling together all the people that participated in the election to come to a compromise within themselves you know because they have drawn the line yes. they have drawn the line between the people and these criminal politicians yes. so they are on one side so they have unanimously agreed that the power that be, that is the APC government, will offset their respective electionary expenditures and some other juicy 
contract that they have been promised for, yes. which means they will not lose in whatever that they have committed in this uh, shenanigan and the correlation. So that is exactly what happened. If you see, they had a meeting where Buhari chaired the meeting and directed them on what to do so that they will accept whatever result that come out so that IPOB will not have the ground. That was their plan. That but is to say that uh, all the candidates of those parties, yes, they don't have any objective for the people. Of course. Because if you have any objective for the people, you cannot accept the results. How do you... You don't even ask if they have objective because it could be seen. They have no objective. Have Our no people were killed in Umwa here by the so-called Python dance. How many of these criminal politicians that participated in the election that have spoken out against the killing? So, uh, Our sister was beheaded in Abuja while she was uh, preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ and she was beheaded by the Fulanese. How many of these so-called politicians that participated in this election that spoke out openly against such killing so no, our no. land is under occupation okay next month you will see that there will be increase on the uh, checkpoints on the military checkpoint that is in biafra land because every christmas they know that our people will travel to their to their respective villages so they will always mount roadblocks in order to extract the little resources that our people have. They even last year they were taking bags of rice from our people. So how many of these so-called politicians have spoken against all this evil being meted to our people? Thank you. So they are not there for people. They are there for much. their own pocket. Thank you very much, Thank Mr. Kalawi. Yes. Um. Looking at it. Um. Looking at what I'm saying and what the video evidence can prove. Um. Obi Anona, they declared as the winner of the election, is is not as he is there now. He is not serving the people. He is not serving the cabals, the so-called political leaders, party leaders, because there is a compromise, and that compromise will serve the party leaders, not the people. Yes. Because he doesn't represent the people. Yes. Because the people did not give him mandate. As it is, Obi Obi Anona doesn't did not get up to ten percent of the Anambra state population. Yes. That means he doesn't have the people's mandate. Of course. So, as it is now, that very day, if you watch the video, if you watch, if you watch the video, you see that yes. there were so so many fraudulent exercises happened mm -hmm. during the election. How, uh, what is your message to the people? How do you view this issue? Well, my message goes to the international community. Yes. My message also goes to our people to disregard the propaganda that is being uh, uh, spread in the Islamic Zoological Republic of Nigeria by their Gota media. Yes. You know, on that same election day where there was a total boycott of election, you oh read from the vanguard they say there is a massive turnout. At the massive turnout, there is no video evidence, there is no photo, they just write massive turnout. But when the indigenous people of Biafra send out the evidence, pictorial and the video evidence, it is very, very clear that the election was totally boycotted. So, when you look at it, you see, I said it earlier, that the total of people that voted on that day will not even be up to 5,000. Because you can see where some people were sitting near the polling booth, this, giving out money. You come, they give you money, you go and vote. They'll be looking some at you. They give them uh, ATM, card. ATM card. They'll go and vote. They credit money. There are even, there is a, this, uh, you watch this video, you see where party agents were giving specific time to stuff the ballot boxes yes each each party agent was given a quota how how many they could stuff into the ballot box the video is there yes to prove it so 
The election was totally boycotted. Nobody voted in an Anambra state election. What our people need is Biafra, and the evidence is there. So the international community should not continue to be silent on the plight and the sufferings of the indigenous people. As long as we say that voice populate vote day, it means that the voice of the people is the voice of God. The people of Biafra have spoken through the boycott of this uh, election in Nigeria to tell the world that what we need is self-determination. The self-determination to the freedom of the indigenous people of Biafra is all we want now. Thank you very much, Mr. Kala. Yes, the freedom of the people of Biafra is what the people of Biafra want now. We have rejected Nigerian political system. We have rejected Nigerian constitution. The people of Biafra want their own nation. We have rejected Nigerian politics for we to boycott the election up to 95%. That means that the people of Biafra want Biafra. When Obiano as it is today, they declared Obiano as the winner of a number state election. Obiano doesn't serve the mandate of the people. He's there to serve the other party leaders after they have compromised. So this is the issue here. Uh, Mr. Kala will put it clear to everyone to understand that uh, we, the people of Biafra, want our freedom. United Nations, American government, European Union, African Union, ECOWAS, the general public, we, the people of Biafra, we have successfully boycotted Anambra election on 18th of November 2017 to prove that we want our freedom, to prove that we are no longer interested or part of Nigerian political system. This is the truth of the matter. This is our analysis on what happened on 18th of November 2017 in Anambra state election. So this is the issue. And Mr. Kalago, thank you very much for your contribution. Yeah, of thank course, you. Very great dear friend, thank you. Know? you. And uh, our people in Anambra State should understand that at this point in time, what the indigenous people of Biafra is doing is to continue to move ahead. Because whoever that they have, in, that, that they have imposed on us is there as an imposed uh, um, governor. governor because he doesn't enjoy the mandate of the people of course not. of which normally if nigeria is a country there should be litigations upon yes. litigations yes. against the conduct of that election in anambra state was which was completely boycotted and you see the over bloated numbers which the INEC officials has dished out. Yes. So when you correspond it with word by word analysis of how the elections went, you discover that the numbers that they projected out is far way false to compare to the reality that happened on that day. Thank you very much, Mr. Kalab. Yes, the people of Anambra State, we say thank you very much. For, uh, for listening to the leader of indigenous people of Biafra and the IPOB worldwide. You listened and you boycotted the election. Of course, the order was obeyed. That is why we say thank you to the people of Anambra State. This is the truth of the matter. Of course, um, the people of Biafra are happy because of what you did. You have proven to the world that you are the first son of the land and that you are waiting for Biafra to come. And Biafra we shall get. The indigenous people of Biafra are now working tirelessly to ensure that we restore Biafra. We are not Nigerians. We are not part of Nigerian political system, which you proved on 18th of November 2017. Thank you very much for listening to this program. This is what we can give at this moment. Thank you. That's no freedom. Freedom is what we need.
Lord know Calling the African you know Talk about my freedom I call in the folk and the sound is old To set me free Lord For so long man 